So now I'm going to talk about um, what SAP module should I pick. So for example, if yourself, you looked at like, you know, SAP, you think, okay, functional consultant, right, I've read up what they do. <laughs> First of all, you know, I'm sorry, not many people will know. So I'll pretty much tell you what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So pretty much um, we implement the IT computer system and depending on which module you've picked, that'll be the part of the computer system you'll be working on. So finance, quality, you know, any part in the supply chain, which could be production planning, procurement, materials management, all that stuff, okay? Um, so I will know information about SAP standard products and stuff like that um, I will go to the client we'll do a fit gap analysis so we'll go okay um, so I'll get their business processes and then I'll know whether what they do will fit the standard so for example first first workshops you just find out what they do you just gather their requirements and you talk about you know what SAP does then you you know conclude all your findings and you go back to them you're like right okay so based off of what you said how your business runs this is how SAP runs I feel like we've got a gap here and then you decide whether they could potentially change their business process to make it more standard or whether you need to do a rice F. so what is a rice F? So that means you've got to build something so that's when you would work with a developer okay and then in general once you've done the design phase you'll go into the build phase that's when you do all the configuration the configuration is just the settings of the computer system because there's lots of different ways you can do standard but you'll know the configuration in your area um if you're really lucky and you've gone around the different areas um, then that's brilliant but you know just focus on your area you'll be trust me it's quite a lot to do but you'll be fine and then once you've you know configured the system maybe you know they wanted a little bit different way of standard um and then you'll go into the test so you'll just generally test it so the developer if they build anything they will do unit testing you'll do functional unit testing and then from that test phase then you'll go into system testing um, so this then is kind of you know working with the different areas you affect for example I'm doing quality so I would work with the procurement team the production planning team the sales team and stuff like that and then system integration testing is literally you know doing more end-to-end -end business scenarios and then how we would work with you know other systems so for example if you've got interfaces and everything like that um, so that's when you get all that in and then unit uh, user acceptance testing that's when you work with the clients so you you know that's when they get with the system you help them along with it and stuff like that and then you know you do a technical go live so that's in kind of like a client which is very close to the production client but you want to make sure when it all goes in there you don't break anything okay and then it'll go go live and you'll be doing hyper support so pretty much that's just it so it's very client facing it's quite a grown-up job um what functional area should you pick so for example i did an economics degree okay um not it didn't know why sap was i fell into it but i'll save that for another vlog um so obviously everyone's just like oh well you've done economics of course a finance module you'll like the finance module so the finance module is pretty much you're an accountant um so you should be you know you should have an understanding of you know the account <laughs> as you can tell i definitely i didn't handle finance very well you know the balance sheet profit loss everything like that because when you go into the workshops you need to understand that business process or otherwise you obviously can't build the system so um that i tried to do a finance thing and i realized i hated it talking like i counted every day so literally i've gone from different areas so just because you have a degree and you're like oh well this works logically with my degree please if you don't like something don't feel like you have to force yourself in it and even if you do the grown-up thing to do and you're like okay i do this i'll go into this area you can always move as well and it's always any experience is good experience especially if you you know, for example, you're a business student, you fall into finance, finance is at the heart of everything. And I can promise you now that when you're building the system, you're testing the system, it's a lot more fun than being behind the screen and just being, you know, a monkey. Work. So for example, I did tax before. Um, I did self-assessment tax. So I filled out, you know, um, P 
people's self-assessment forms. It honestly bored my face off. It was with one amazing big company, but I literally couldn't even last. I think I lasted six months and that was at a push. And everyone thought I was crazy because they were like, oh my goodness me, you worked at a big four, you threw it away, blah, blah, blah. I hated it, okay? Um, but then one of my projects was, you know, putting in a tax system. And I absolutely loved it. So it just shows it's completely different and you know don't be too hard on yourself i know i've done like five different modules and that's just me i love it i love to be sink or swim i go around i'm a diverse skill set where a lot of people like to do one area and stay there and that's completely fine it all works it's just you know you need to understand what makes you happy so i hope it really helps if you've got any other questions drop them below